Hey guys, Spirit Guides help to give us a clear, concise message for the whole collective. Please let this help the whole collective. I'm cleaning, cleaning these cards. There are no cards, okay, you guys? So we can get a good message. Just uh, let, hang on, let me light this sage. I'm going to start lighting something every day, okay? That's the easiest way to do sage, light a candle. See how easy it is, you guys? See, that's why you need to have a candle. So you can light. Thank you, Spirit. Help us with a clear, concise message for the collective. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Okay, I'm just going to leave it burns, you guys. How was your house weekend? Huh? Did y'all have a great weekend? I uh, hope you guys did. Yep, I hope you guys did. Um, today's Monday. I know Monday it can feel a little taxing and like it, the day's never going to end. And I hope that you guys get through that, okay, you guys? All right, let me uh, put the, this deck over here on top of this one. I'm going to pull out. I got us a new Twin Flame deck, so y'all need to hit subscribe. Um, I'll have us some new information. Two, two, two. We got some new information, and I hope y'all like these cards, and I got the book to see what all it's saying. What is something that a collector needs to focus on today, Spirit? Please and thank you very much. We love you and we thank you. You need to focus on this rebirth. Ooh, so Scorpio energy. So you, you're going through, that's death card energy. You're going through a rebirth. Hang on. What does the collective need to focus on? Wait a minute, I'm going to get uh, one more. What's one more card? Look, rebirth, death. <laughs> see, I was right. Scorpio's a death car. Remember death and and then rebirth. You see what I'm saying? You went through a rebirth. You had to. You, your old soul had to die so your new one could come out and play. <laughs> one more. You're feeling more playful now. Old trick. Somebody might be wanting to play and trick. Somebody might be playing around with death spells during your rebirth. I think that's what it's saying. I want to read a little bit of what it says right here in just a second. That's all I want to get. Let's see what that's saying. Shoot. Hang on, let me see. So I got rebirth. What is the rebirth? Oh, a snake. You gotta look at what's on the card. A snake, and that is 104. So I need 104. Bear with me, you guys. I'm not gonna read the whole thing. I'm just gonna tell you the gist of what it's saying. Okay, so snake. Um... This card represents the cycle of rebirth and eternity, while the salamander card represents the regrowth of a part of oneself from destruction and chaos. The snake signifies a natural rebirth of the whole self. So this is just a natural rebirth, you know. As a snake sheds and emerges clean and new from the sheath of dead skin, it reminds us of the constant cycle of life, death, and rebirth. We shed our skin and hair daily, 
and the remnants of our bodily self become dust on the air, in the earth, and in the water, this card asks us to consider our place in the grand cycle of things and reminds us that change is a natural part of life. Yeah, so you're just going through a change and you're doing it naturally. Like, it's just naturally happening. I think that's a fly. I think that's what that is. Is that what? I don't see fly. What in the hell is that thing? Oh, a moth. A moth. That's what it is. Moth. 78. So we all got to shed our old skin. That's what it's saying, okay? It's, it's just natural. Natural law and order, okay? Okay, the moth. Death and... Uh, at, the word... Death may at first cause you discomfort, but in the natural world, death is an essential part of rebirth, new growth, and sustaining life. While you may choose to view this card as a representation of physical death, understand that it also signifies symbolic death. This card may mean the end of a journey, the end of a relationship, or the end of an attachment. It may also represent the end of one path and the movement on to the next. So you're shedding old skin. You might be... Uh, you might have lost uh, someone close to you, you know, obviously, or you you could be going on a new path because then play come out. Let's see what Monkey says. Ma, 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 Monkey, 76, and what is Bear? Hang on, y'all, so I don't know where it is. So 76 and 26. Oh, no, that's a darn badger. Hang on a minute. Where's badger at? I don't know. Is that badger? Yeah, badger is on 24. No, that ain't no badger. That's a... What is that thing? A raccoon dog? 88, I don't know what it is, you all. I'm trying to figure out what it is. I don't, I don't know. Let's say 88. Because I have to read it like this, y'all. I don't know what it's saying, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's 90s. I was supposed to be on 88. Yep, it's a raccoon dog. So we need to remember it. It looks like a little bear or a badger, but it's a raccoon dog, it says. I believe this is in Japanese stories. Yeah, because in the in in, uh, it, in the shadow, it's talking about Japanese stories where conjurers and shapeshifters who could transform into animals. It's talking about that. Um, the raccoon dog card may warn you to look before you leap, but also reassure you that the leap itself is a part of the fun. Shit, I suppose to read a monkey first. Hang on, the monkeys first. This card represents playfulness and embracing one's childlike instincts. In the folklore of the Philippines, monkeys are associated with children who turn into small primates through laughter. In popular culture, monkeys are often associated with mischief, laughter, and fun. This promotes a childlike view of the world and a playful heart, not reading too heavily into the hidden meanings. This card may be seen as a call to heal the effects of childhood trauma or familial, familial emotional abuse. So you might have been emotionally abused, and that's why you're wanting to, that's, that's why this change is occurring, so you can move away from this dead relationship and, and be more playful and head towards um, this new path that you're wanting to be on. Uh, and this... It is a card of seeing opportunity in chaos and confusion, creative problem solving, and learning on the job. Um, while similar in appearance to the raccoon or badger, the Japanese raccoon dog is believed to be unrelated to either. In Japanese folklore, the Tanu has a rich cultural significant background. They are tricksters and shapeshifters and are also associated with mischief and pranks. This card urges you to not take things too seriously and encourages you to be curious, generous, and cheerful. Uh, you need 
you to encourage your mind, think outside the box, prosperity in business, encouraging generosity and cheerfulness, protection from deceit. <laughs> so after you take this risk, you're going to have success. Are you with It's encouraging you to take this risk and be playful and take it. Oh, I love that spirit. And I hope you're all still with me and you didn't get mad at waiting on that because I had twin flame cards, so... And I don't shuffle them, you guys. So I hope and pray that uh, you're all listening to me. I mean, this is natural. This is natural order that the universe is taking. Uh, what do we need to know under rebirth? Okay, okay. What under death? Hang on, I might need to space it a little better. What under what under death? What under death, spirit? What what under death? What under death? What under death? What under death? What thank you. What under play for what under play? Excuse me. What under play? What under play? What under trick? What under trick? One other trick. One other badger trick. Move towards your destiny, Mama. Oh, okay. What, what else? Oh, that's funny that it said this. It tells you a good story on it. Uh, 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 uh. Okie dokie. So, here's what it said about rebirth. You know, natural. You're going through a natural change. Fresh start. This is a new opportunity to release the past. This is your second chance. Oh, somebody's got a second chance out here to release all this old past baggage. So, uh, cause you, someone's mirroring. This is reflection, twin, wholeness, synchronicity abounds. You're seeing synchronicities everywhere. You're seeing that this fresh start is happening. Uh, but someone needs to release the past so you can go towards this person that who that is mirroring you. <laughs> you know what? And uh, under death, you know, death and rebirth, you know, loss, hesitation, loss of self and identity. Discover your true self again. Yeah, see, it's like you, you your old self had to die. So your new self could emerge. That's what that's saying, 1255. That's what it's saying. So this fresh start of yours, you're all mirroring like loss. You're all, <laughs> this 20 years, you're all really missing each other. You're all, you're all so much alike, it ain't funny. And, and it all it's doing is bringing out hesitation for you not to move forward because it's a past heartbreak. It's, Maybe they broke your trust and you're afraid to move forward. Maybe this twin of yours broke your heart and you're afraid to move forward. That, that sucks, you know. I'm sorry for whoever this is, you all. I hope I can help you all a little more. That's why I try to get cards to help my collective. I love you guys because I know I'm supposed to do this. I'm getting better and I'm helping you guys, see. Um... And I need your all's help because I know I got shadow banned, y'all. My channel was going up real big, and then it'll plummet to nothing. It's been doing a little better, but I already see that it went back down today. Um, but this is about fertility. This is fresh ideas are starting to manifest. This is growing, you know. This is talking about planting your seeds. Look at that little tiny, is that a little tiny uh, orange tree? Oh, that's so 1414. I love that. Look at that twin flame number. Ooh. So this is talking about you're, you're needing to be playful. Uh, that's why you're feeling this playful energy. Because uh, spirit is wanting you to manifest. You've you got a lot of ideas and you're bringing them out maybe to people. Uh, you planted seeds and they're growing. But there's somebody, this other party is unawakened. They're unaware. Like, they're in the 3D. They're on a wire of what's happening, you know. Because their ego's taking over. This is about darkness. Your twin flame is not ready yet. So whoever's twin this is, they're not ready yet. 
and, and you're fertile and you might be older and they need to wake up if they was wanting to have a baby with you. They need to realize that pretty soon for some of these women out here. You know, I'm just talking for you all in my collective. And trick, trick. Uh, stuck marriage. This is, you're being blocked. This is a third-party situation. You're feeling a lot of silence, like there's a barrier in between you all. You need to shift your focus to clear the energy. Yeah, you need to shift your focus to clear the energy from this third party at your, you know, because that's making you feel stuck in your marriage. And that's how, uh, when you quit feeling that stuck, um, you can grow. And remember, it said your business would profit. That's what it said now. This is a marriage of a legal partnership, a commitment, your marital bond, and societal contract. It could be saying somebody out here is wanting to make you keep feeling stuck in your marriage and not go towards them. Because it's this fucking energy of hesitation and loss that this down twins do. And they're wanting you to hang on to that. Oh, I lost you. Poor, poor, pitiful. I don't understand why they're damn doing that. You know what I mean? But it's crazy. Let me do these cards of mine, you all. Okay. I just did these new for the collective. I don't know if it'll make sense to you all. Hopefully it will, you know it. Hopefully it will, because I put a lot of time into working for the collective. You can't buy my love. You have to earn my love and learn to respect a person that brings good, pure love. So somebody might have been might be trying to buy your love. Um with this fresh start. Divine masculine is manifesting is manifesting a new life with you. He's buying you lots of things. For your new life with him. So see. So this divine masculine is. Um, they're, they're unawakened. Uh, to why it's feeling like this. In. Uh, in your all's marriage. I think you're all twin flames. That are married. It sounded like to me. But it seems like somebody's playing tricks on you. They're fucking playing tricks on you. And doing magic. During this rebirth that you're going through. It's, somebody's doing that to you. And to, they're doing it to your divine masculine. They don't want them to uh, be awake and realize that all this loss is just making that hesitation energy stay around because you're very fertile and you're building your things, you know. It's like somebody wants to keep you stuck in time to where you can't go out to your dreams. They're stupid. Remember, the narcissist will create a smear campaign to try to add votes to uh, his or her team and they'll lie to anybody who will listen to them. They forget to tell you what they've done to you and all the abuse that they gave you. So they're starting a... So some narcissist around has started a smear campaign. That's that past life that somebody needed to leave. Remember it said it will go. Hang on. Or it could be a narcissist. And it could be this narcissist, a woman that said a bunch of shit about you. They're, somebody is embarrassed themselves in front of a group of people trying to make you out to be crazy and an addict. Now they're realizing that she's a narcissist, and I knew it. I kept telling people, you know. So it, so whoever this narcissist woman is that you might have, um, this might be your friend or a mother or a parent or a um, somebody that you might have worked with or something like that they was trying to make you out to look crazy and like an addict they was smearing your fucking name they're smearing your name that's what it was and um you're a beautiful old soul and be proud of it because you are wise beyond your years and you have a lot of knowledge to share to the collective and i do do you love my new soul card i love you if you love it hit subscribe you new people, and, and my collective hit like, and I thank you guys, okay, and your partner in your marriage says you're a beautiful old soul, and they're proud of you, I love it, I love it, spirit, <laughs> oh gosh, and they just want to take you and hide you, hide away with you from the outside world, they want to show you the real person that, uh, uh, that you, you needed, 
was them. They, they're going to show you, okay? They know that you can't buy, they know that you can't buy love. They're, they're needing to show it the right way. But maybe your divine mask, this mask gun has a lot of money. And he just likes showering you with stuff, you know? And these people, this narcissist woman is, is uh, people are seeing that you wasn't crazy or an addict. Now they're seeing that she was a narcissist. That's 2020. That's funny, ain't it? She was a narcissist, and she was trying to ruin your reputation, beautiful old soul. And uh, your divine masculine still loves you. And uh, would you really just throw all of our love away for something you promised that you'd never do again? See, no, uh, you all made promises, and you all not throwing away your love again, you know. Um, this is somebody, they're playing tricks Make they're wanting to make you feel like uh, they they did something, like your person was doing something. Yeah, fuck that bitch. Who is she? You're not allowed to have any friends or any time to yourself. Like you're under control. You have to see that he's or she's an abusive narcissist. Okay, maybe at this maybe it's mask on up here. It buys a lot of shit for you. They're a narcissist and they're wanting you under their control. Maybe they want to hide you away from everybody because of this stupid fucking woman up here that did this shit in the community that played tricks and lied about your fucking marriage and shit. You know it? Whoever the cunt is. All my selfish ways has led to you not having any trust for me. It's caused a lot of difficulties in our connection. Okay? So uh, you're, you're understanding that the narcissist was selfish. It was all about them. And this woman is a narcissist that I used to work with. I know, huh? So I, I can say it. They was very selfish. Like, she didn't want me to have my own business. I done told y'all. She didn't. She was so fucking jealous of anything I had. And, uh, you're, you, you're feeling disappointed after all the shit comes out. And you see and hear what all this man was actually doing to you behind your back. So... So this man, uh, you're going to get ready. You're getting ready to feel very disappointed. Play a trick. During this time of you, you turning into this person that you're meant to be, so you can go towards your twin. You shed away at old self. You did your shadow work, and you're healed. And these motherfucking people, it's fucking them other woman, and it's and this man. They was playing tricks behind your back. But the you they you're gonna feel something when all this shit comes out what this motherfucker was doing to you, man or woman, whoever it is, both of them, they might have been in it together, and uh, learn all the knowledge that you can so you can make an impact on the world. You need to study hard to show up smart because you're a damn genius. Okay, you beautiful old soul, that's what you're doing. You're studying real hard and you're a genius and you're figuring out that, um. Maybe this narcissist was paying these people to uh, smear your name in the community. And and this, um, this woman that was making you out to be crazy is smearing your name also. There, she, she's feeling at loss now. Like, um, she's discovering what what she truly did to you now. That's what it is, yeah. And she's wishing it is around now, and you're like, no, uh -uh, I'm not, I'd never go back around that shit again. Uh, and and uh, they're just sending out this tricky energy. They're trying to keep you hesitated. In hesitation, you know, in this past heartbreak, heart, uh, heart, uh, broken trust, afraid, to, they don't want you to move forward. They don't want you to move forward because they know that maybe you will, um, when you move forward, you're going to blow up big. Do you understand? Like, boom, your dreams is coming true as soon as you move forward. But this person, they're unawakened. That, that, they, they don't really, um, that they're, they're, they, they don't understand, uh, that they uh, have a lot of darkness in them. And your twin flame, somebody's twin flame out here, they're not ready yet because they're stuck in a marriage. See, 2444. Or they're trying, 
they may be awake and they trying to get unstuck from the marriage. I mean, you just got to take it as it is. But somebody knows that you got to respect somebody that brings good, pure love. And money's not going to buy a love. You got to show actions. You know it. You got to show actions for if you want pure love. You got to show uh, good actions. And I hope this helps you all today, Collective. Um, I'd like to do more, but it's already so long. Uh, maybe this person is in real estate. 2525, I just saw. And maybe they have cusper energy, like their birthday is really close, like the 17th, 18th, 19th, 2021, 22, something like that. Um... So, I don't know. I hope it helps you guys. You know what? And, uh, so, uh, this, tw whoever his twin is, they're noticing all these synchronous and they're, and they're knowing that they need to come towards you. They just got to get out of this, uh, feeling of they've lost their identity and stop hesitating. Or maybe that's you, Divine Feminine, that needs to do that. And, you know, because you planted these seeds. And uh, you need to stop feeling at, it's, I don't know, whoever is other, whoever's twin is, is they're, they're unawakened and they're stuck in their marriage still. They're, they're needing to figure out uh, the truth. The truth is they need to shed this old way of doing shit and go towards the new and be playful in the moment and get rid of this tricky ass son of a bitch that's trying to keep you down and out. That'd be my suggestion. All right, Collective, I love you guys, and I hope this helps somebody out there today. And if I help somebody, um, you can let me know. I love you guys, and I'm going to get off here and do another reading. Peace.